Hi and welcome to another video with me from the and with City Skylines and we are back with uh, City Skylines as I've mentioned earlier uh, but anyway uh, we are doing a little bit uh, something a little bit new I guess uh, so welcome to Project Island where we are basically going to utilize this island and we're gonna develop this island to something that is uh, livable I guess but yeah anyway the code name for this project is project island but the official name is uh, Ka Kota I guess is how you say it uh, so basically what Ka Kota is uh, sorry if I'm butchering that because I'm not from Thailand and Ka or K E yeah like that the thing that I'm putting on the screen right now uh, that and that is Thai language for uh, island and kota that is actually my mother tongue language or my native language uh, which is Bahasa Indonesia which is uh, basically Indonesian for uh, city so the name translates into uh, island city or city island uh, from both languages so a mix of cultures just like Southeast Asia talking about Southeast Asia this project is actually very much based on Southeast Asia at least in my head it's somewhere around Indonesia somewhere in the archipelago you know indonesia has thousands and thousands of islands and this is just a fictional island that might just blend into any of any one of them but anyway uh the name kakota well i think that i think that's how you pronounce ka i guess i know that's how you pronounce kota but kakota basically the name ka comes from a twitter uh suggestion from Builder Brad one I think it is his uh, username on Twitter um, and Kota is just a word that I come up with because uh, this is supposed to be in Indonesia and I felt like having an island in Indonesia with a Thai name is really unusual I guess so that's why I added the Kota at the end so and also uh, Ka Kota is basically the name of the main island which is this one that you're seeing right now if I zoom out, or I'll, I'll just put a picture right here, uh, the island is. This is basically an, like a group of islands, uh, like but there's only one main big one, and there's just a few other small ones, a few barely popping out of the water. But you can also name those ones as well if you want to. Um, but before I get into more explanation, um, I'd like to say uh, I'd like to uh, say that. I hope that you guys are doing great in quarantine. Um, you guys are staying home. If you are not staying home, then you know socialist social distance and then wear the, wear your mask, wash your hands, and you know things like that, just to keep us safe from the coronavirus. But that's not our main topic for today. Our main topic for today is what you're looking at the screen right now. So what we'll be doing today is we'll be developing one side of this island, one side of Kakota. So this will be the quote-unquote capital of the island, I guess. It's, this is going to be the biggest city. And also, I was actually thinking of making this into a like, a rural island where there are barely any uh, roads that are bigger than two lane roads. So, But then I, I changed my mind because now the concept of this island or this group of islands is that uh, this group of islands is basically a um, well it's its economy is basically based on tourism tourism is their main focus just like Bali so a lot of the income will come from tourism and because of that I there there will be an airport in the future I believe that's gonna be on the third episode or something but no promises because I haven't recorded that episode yet um, but based on a Twitter poll that I did, uh, I asked you guys if you want to see me build a harbor or a passenger harbor or a cruise ship harbor thing, I guess. Or should I build an airport? Uh, most of you guys wanted me to build an airport, so there you go. I'm going to build an airport instead of a harbor. Personally, I do enjoy building an airport very much more since I myself, uh, I myself will consider myself as a aviation enthusiast to some extent i guess but yeah anyway 
right here uh, in this episode actually we'll be putting down all of your buildings we'll be laying out the roads we'll be putting down all of the essential buildings and the non-essential uh, there will be schools government buildings hotels commercial buildings houses uh, hospitals uh, fire stations police departments and anything like that uh, but we will not go into detail because detailing takes a whole bunch of time and I want to get this video as fast as possible because I feel like I haven't uploaded that much. So and I and I also apologize for that by the way. But anyway, uh the editing we'll do next episode hopefully. And then one day after the editing is done, my target is to move on to the airport because that's gonna be a pretty nice project in my opinion. Because I love building an airport in this game. Uh but anyway. Uh, if you if you notice me doing that, uh, notice me changing the roof colors into red. That's actually gonna be pretty common since in Indonesia where I'm basing this off, uh, a lot of the roofs are basically red, but there are also other colors of roofs as well. But most of them are red. But that's the reason why I changed it into red. But there will be some houses that are not red at the end. Um, also, uh, please do keep in mind that this is gonna be the center like city center ish part of the city uh, the city will still expand to its surroundings but basically this part is where the uh, I guess this is like this is gonna be where the center of the city is I guess like there will be shopping malls well there's only gonna be one shopping mall but there are hotels a lot of a lot of a lot of hotels this government building there will be i am planning for a park as well a city park near around here close around here i guess and also uh just in front of uh this like city i guess this city will have a shoreline and the shoreline will be where the like uh will be the center of tourism i guess the beach in other words so yeah if you guys want to name the city as well please do go ahead I'd like to hear your suggestions um, and also if you want to contribute more or if you want to have some sort of influence then you can definitely follow me on Twitter because I do sometimes put up polls about what should I do on this thing or that thing so if you want if you want me to use your input then you can totally follow me on Twitter uh, links down below or you know wait till the end I guess but yeah that's what we're doing today I guess um, by the way, that shopping mall, that sh shopping mall is actually a Japanese style. I will be using uh, Japanese, Thai, Indonesian, and Malaysian assets because there are not that many Indonesian assets out there in the workshop, which is very unfortunate. But there is some improvement, which are the um, Indonesian police cars and Indonesian ambulances. Both of them are very amazing. I, I, I would really like uh, recommend them because they're really cool. I will have a clip of them at the end or something like that, like, I think. But still no fire trucks yet, but I can still use the vanilla one because I used the mod called no fire, so there are no fires, so it doesn't really matter. Also this one you can see that I cannot really change the roof right there, so I just move on. And that's basically what I mean by some roofs not being red. It's basically because I cannot. <laughs> but anyway, that's totally fine. Um, so as I've mentioned earlier, this episode will just focus on placing buildings without details, just you know, to get a general knowledge of, of where things go, where, where, where stuff should be, and everything like that. And um, again, uh, as I mentioned earlier as well, uh, this is just the center, so the, the city will expand, and the more it goes like to the outskirts, the more rural it feels and I did mention that this is gonna be the capital of the island well that's because I'm also planning a second city and a few other villages if it's possible um, and an airport and also I am planning for a resort so that's gonna be cool I'm very excited for the resort I'm still more excited for the city and a little bit more excited for the airport but that's not what this time uh, this episode is gonna be for or about by the way here this is like a uh, fast food district or something like that <laughs> it has kfc mcdonald's and uh, pizza hut uh, in a little bit but you know and this is gonna be the touristy district as well i guess but yeah that's 
something. <laughs> um, next episode will be detailing them. I'm not sure if next episode is gonna. I, I I'm not sure if the next episode on the next episode I'll be able to detail everything. But I think next episode I'm gonna focus on the shoreline. I think because I have not recorded this yet. I I have not recorded the second episode yet, but I just need to get this out there. Um. So, um. Oh yeah, right. This map I did not make myself. Unlike uh, not like uh, unlike unlike not like yeah unlike uh project uh, the city of heroes where I actually made the map myself. I'm not actually that good at making maps, so if you actually have my map, which is impossible since I don't, I I did I have not shared it. But if you somehow have it and and if you somehow know it, then you know that the map is actually pretty bland. There's like literally no no decorations, no trees or anything like that. Just highways and rivers and anything like that. So it's like the bare bones of everything. Everything what of everything. Sorry for that. Um. So this map basically, by the way, look at that, Alpha Mart, and I do have an Indomart, but yeah, it's pretty nice, the rec Reclama uh, pack, Reclama means advertisement, I think, or a billboard, or something like that, but I can utilize that, uh, utilize that. but anyway, as I was saying, the map itself is not mine, I did not make this map, this map was actually made by a person in the workshop that I forgot the name of, but I, I'd, I'd like to thank him very much, or her. Uh, I'll I'll insert the screen, screenshot of the workshop page right here. You can see the name of the map. I think the name of, I think the name of the map is Small Volcanic Island, and you can also see the uh, author over there as well. But if you uh, by the way, if you're hearing some stuff in the background, I'm totally very much sorry since that's that that's just normal house sounds, I guess. But anyway, yeah. Also, one thing that I really didn't want to get into was high rises in his uh, projects, but I did put down uh, some high rises, which are hotels, and I think those are fine. Probably, in the future, I might fa I I might change them if I found them too tall or unrealistically tall. I guess because this is just supposed to be a small island, and you know, small islands. They don't have that much skyscrapers except for Singapore and other islands that does have uh, that do have uh, high rises. But anyway, uh, if you've noticed behind the light blue hotel and the police station and the Pertamina and the Indomaret, uh, there are like a, sp a few small asphalt roads without marking with houses on them. Those are basically called gang i guess and those are uh kampongs i guess so basically what those are those are like dense villages i guess uh i guess it is a dense village it's like lower uh, lower income lower residential housing that's basically the plan is to have like normal houses over on the smaller roads and bigger houses on the main roads and of course on the main roads there will be of course commercial and several other stuff as well but yeah so far the series is really nice and by the way uh if you haven't followed me on twitter then i apologize for not uh telling you guys this i guess but uh, what happened to project the city of heroes season 2 was uh, long story short uh, my spec on my pc or laptop cannot uh keep up with the amount of assets sims vehicles and mods that i'm using and if i uh like unsubscribe to some of the assets then they will not appear in the game and that just destroys the whole concept so i ended up just ending them right there and then i'm very sorry about that um i am planning for a season two but that will be pretty far in the future i think if this series does end up uh taking off of course <clears throat> um let's see 
the biggest hotel right now is the blue hotel right there in the back right there with the swimming pool i'm actually very much excited to do the uh detailing since if you know me you know that detailing is basically my favorite part of uh, city skylines instead of just planning and putting down buildings detailing is by far my favorite uh, also, uh, you might be wondering where can cars access the roads over here or where can sims get their cars to drive on the roads on this island without having a harbor? Well, the current solution is to have a um, underground tunnel. So basically I have an underground tunnel that goes from the edge of the map to a mountain. So it acts like a tunnel that comes from a mountain. So well but it connects to the edge of the island so that's just temporary hopefully it's just temporary i don't think it's gonna be that long so i don't know so by the way um sorry if you heard that sound in the background terribly sorry cannot control those stuff those are out of my control but anyway i try my best to keep the quality at as high as it can be but i cannot control that sound uh, but anyway, this is another kampung that I'm working on currently. Uh, this one's gonna be pretty dense, but not as dense as you might be thinking, because, yeah, they still need, like, the empty lots to live, I guess. But you can see that this, I built this school as well over there. Very stereotypical, 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 is that how you say it? that word uh, I don't know why it's hard to pronounce for me but that's a very stereotypical uh, design for a uh, school uh, in Southeast Asia that that I said is actually made for a Thai made as a Thai elementary school but in Indonesia, in Indonesia you also get those kind of uh, good <laughs> those kind of stuff and all of these houses are basically Thai as well so if you want a, be a breakdown of the assets sorry for that uh, again once again uh, anyway uh, houses are mostly thai commercials uh it can be from anywhere really um schools thai government buildings thai uh some commercial from indonesia uh papan reklama or ads indonesian um, shopping malls, Japanese. Um, road's pretty breezy, eh? It's again, very sorry, very very sorry. But anyway, um, yeah, doing the kampung. Totally forgot what I was saying. But anyway, um, if you like, have any questions regarding regarding uh city skylines or these videos i guess you can totally comment down below and i'll ask your question i mean i'll answer your question probably um so if you do have questions then please do leave them uh, leave them down below for me to look at or answer possibly in the next episode or something like that also uh since i've been I guess since I've been uploading more frequently, I guess, uh, the electricity bill has gone up pretty, not electricity, but internet, I guess. The internet usage has plowed through the roof, um, so I might be lowering the frequency of uploads. It can be that I'll only have one video per week, I hope you understand that, since Currently, videos are not monetized since not enough people are subscribed and not enough people are watching my content for not long enough. But, you know, you can like support me any way you want, but anyway, um, this is another kampong, I guess, which is nice, I guess. Um, if you do see freezes like this, those are actually not freezes, those are just me looking at Google Maps for reference, but you can see there, that's the police car from the guy that I showed you earlier that I forgot the name of now. But it's pretty cool, I like it a lot. Uh, there are actually, I think, a few kinds of police cars, I guess, those are the 
the ones that i just showed you are the darker livery i guess ones and there are the other ones they are basically i guess it's the pjr or patrol jalan raya or usually it's just called highway patrol uh, that is basically um uh like like uh, brighter in color I like the color is basically not instead of uh, gold or yellow yellow and darkish brown thing the color is basically white and blue in which i think uh, white blue and red i think or something like that but pretty cool i think uh, i personally like that a little bit more but i enjoy every region asset out there so yeah um, if you saw earlier near the hospital, there was actually an ambulance as well that I, that is Indonesian, so that's pretty cool as well. So huge thank you to the person that has made that. By the way, if you see on the screen right now, you can see the houses which are not in kampung form or uh, like they are just independent houses, not in a group or something like that. Well, you can see it sort of in a group, but it's not really. It's like on a big road, and the reason is. Uh, basically the concept for those houses are those are the houses the bigger houses so basically uh like it has bigger land plot and it has a bigger house uh what do you call that footprint i don't know uh, it has a bigger like house in general so bigger houses go on bigger roads that's the concept but anyway uh, those are the police cars and the ambulance that you can see earlier, like a few seconds before this. But anyway, we're actually moving to another part of town, which is the back here. That back, that, that big building with some parking, with a lot of parking actually, is the shopping mall. Uh, but these ones are going to be a kampong as well. So a kampong near a shopping mall, that works. Um, you actually see some of this in Surabaya, but usually it's not really come well. I guess sort of, you know. But anyway, these are kampung as well. So yeah. Um. So next episode, as I said earlier, will be detailing the um beach area and the shoreline. Very excited. I'll work around the main road as well near the coast and you can see me right now uh recoloring all of the uh not really all but some of the roofs to red because those are the red is basically the general kind of uh roof color i guess because if you if you're in my position right now then you can see that in my surroundings all of the houses are basically uh like all of the houses around me are basically uh red in their roof color so their roof color is basically red so yeah anyway um some of the roads are actually thai as well just saying because i just remember that it's actually really hard doing a commentary because sometimes you just run out of things to talk about but yeah i guess i can talk about the future end that i have in my head that is not yet accomplished um, but hopefully I can accomplish it. But anyway, the end goal for this one is that I can create a major city, quote unquote major. It's not really gonna, it's not really gonna be a mega city or anything. A decent sized city, and then a village or a few village, um, an airport, a resort, a beautiful beach or some beautiful beaches, um, possibly some industrial kind of area like maybe locks like what sawmills or anything like that maybe and also another city or some smaller towns as well like they'll be very cool to have if it's possible again since my laptop is not really that good or my spec it's not really that good it's barely reaching the minimum <laughs> actually but that's actually the end of the video so I hope you enjoyed this one, I hope you enjoyed the cinematics, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, uh, subscribe, like this video, share this video, and I hope to see you on the next one. See ya.